this guy. Eh? This guy. Ah! Yeah, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. My eyes. My eyes. Yeah, 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 my eyes. Oh, my eyes. This guy has killed me. Hey. My name is Timoni. Hey, 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 my eyes. Where is Timoni? Answer me if I stop you now. I was going to kill you. I was going to kill you. Bye, bye, bye. Transfer. I was going to pay my transfer. Ah, I nice. told you I do not accept that ah. on the outset. Hey. Where is the money? Hey. If ah. I stab you to death, you ah. old fool. Hey. Nice. What did you put in my eyes? Hey. Uh. I make sure you don't move. <laughs> What a name. What could they be doing in there? I don't know. Except to go and check it. I mean, we should go in there. Isn't that what we are looking for? If there's a vacancy, let's apply now. Let's give it a try. Try your luck. But that name, that name is sounds strange. Let's go and check it out. Come back. Ah, come back. I want to go in and check. Didn't you see what you did in the underside? Beautiful girls should apply. Oh, me. I will not be beautiful. Beautiful queen, most beautiful queen. <laughs> we are beautiful, my dear, but we are not cosmetic enough. Not those big boys. You can be sure that they are not really looking for genuine, beautiful girls, but girls that are well packaged. Mm. So I have to go in there looking like this. It's true. Okay. Okay, so now let's go back home for repackaging, according to you, so that we can get the job. Yeah, let's go and repackage. So that we can get the job. Let's make questions. I really want to say your They want to go and apply. Beautiful queen. Don't beg, let's go. Yeah, let's beg. Where are you fake me? I shall not go there. Imagination. All right, that's interesting. But there are a few more things you need to learn. Take a seat. You see, a woman has the inherent powers to rule the world. If only she utilizes them well enough. You're welcome to the girls' lodge. Thank you very much, ma'am. Here, you will be exposed to the enormous parts of the trusses. The skin, which I can see you already got. The tongues. And the tissues. Simba! Simba! Yes, madam. Yes, ma'am. You will take her to her room 
She is not one of us. Zimba. Yes, ma'am. I said, show her to her room. Where you Thank you. All right, make yourself comfortable. Easy, easy, easy. Come on, don't be fast. Come on, move. <laughs> <laughs> What's cooking? Oh, thank you. Mm. What's cooking? Mm. We are preparing to attend the job interview on the job. Preparing to attend an interview. On the job cooking. Dressed like this? What kind of a job are you going to are you going for that you dress like this? Hmm. Says girls. We saw an advertisement on a sales girl's position, so we decided to apply. You guys are dressed like you're going for like some club girls. That's not how to dress for a job interview. It depends on what you'll be selling and what the organizations will be needing you for. Services? What's what services are you talking about? Please, babe, don't mind her. We won't be selling her any other thing other than the company's goods and the company services. Trust me. Don't mind her, please. Dress like this? Babe, this isn't how we'll be dressing to work. This is just a packaging to get the job first. Packaging to get... But say, I don't understand. What are you guys talking about? You will understand. Let me get the job first. You will understand. But say, I am your boyfriend. I have the right to know what you're doing and where you're going. And that's what I'm telling you. I'm planning on getting a job for myself. That is what I'm doing. The job that you get dressed like a prostitute? What kind of a job is that? How dare you? How dare you call me a prostitute? Slap me. And I'll do that again if you don't take back those rotten words. You don't even feel ashamed to call yourself a boyfriend. You call yourself a boyfriend when you're gay, can't even afford the most basic things of life. I go about the city on foot while my mates are driving expensive cars. Living in a posh environment. What kind of a boyfriend are you? Listen, I want to work. And wherever I want to work, shouldn't be any of your businesses. Bossy, I've been trying my best. Your best? What best are you even talking about? Dropping pittance from the crumbs you earn? Those pittance from, from the crumbs I earn is far better than millions given to you by people that objectify your body and look at you as a commodity. There you go again. There you go again. So you now refer to me as a commodity. Me, Bosse. You refer to me as a now leave my house. Get over leave my house, please! Oh Bosse. Take it easy. Ah, it's okay. Take it easy on the gentleman. Ah. First he called me a prostitute. Now he refers to me as a commodity. Apparently he has it in his head that I'm going to sell myself to me for money. I haven't said anything. I'm not a dollar. Like your mom. I grab jokes. Leave! It's okay, Bosse. It is okay. Ah, you run the chance of ruining your fine makeup now. Mm. Oh, he has left. 
Uh, he can go. I mean, that's the essence for this whole drama. Well, the guy is actually a gentleman. That's the main reason I don't want him. How? Listen, I have made up my mind. Whatever is coming out from this adventure, and I'm not going to let anyone stand in my way. Not even him. Please, too fast, let's go. You're running late. This is a girl I've done virtually everything for. You don't do everything for anyone, especially women. They have different reasons for different occasions. But not to the point of wanting to become a sex worker. Are you sure that's not what she wants? Bro, no responsible organization is going to require people to come for an interview dressed like that. Ah, uh, yeah, probably right. But have you thought about the ushering agency? How they want their girls to dress? Obviously, you don't trust your girl. And it's cool, I understand that. And I'm glad you know there are other legitimate and genuine firms who want their girls to dress provocative. Not meaning or minding for them to sell their bodies to. Ken. Ken, you're always fond of defending these girls. Well, Bossa has gone to sell her body, that's all. <laughs> Guy, you're panting. Yeah. Drink and relax. <laughs> mm. men in this entire area become totally useless. Hey, 
É o que eu acho. Tichos, 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 tichos. Vamos amarelar tu ganha. The children are there. The men in this street are there. If this one catch up, 73 rounds. Non stop. Oh no. Hmm. Me for this life, I'm not a parent. You are confused, but. The sales girls you will see and praise. The sales girls you do what you have to get what you want. My dear beauties, I'm happy that you all are doing well in learning the tricks of the business quite fast. But remember, you are nothing but a sales girl. And you must never allow anyone else to make you think otherwise. And do not forget to always make them understand it. Am I clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma do we remember the rules? Yes, yes, yes ma'am. Okay, let's go. Rule number one. Never let anyone cheat on you. Good. Rule number two. Be brave as a lioness for you are one. Good. Rule number three. Never feel guilty, guilty, no matter what. what. Rule number four. Defend yourself, don't tell me. And rule number five. Never, never cheat the boss. And that's the most important of all the rules. Never cheat the boss. Some of you go out at night and return to tell me stories. Because you don't understand the extent I go to ensure your protection. But in any case, Always remember to keep your own side of the bargain. Am I right? Yes. 50% is not too much to pay for all the facility and security that you get here. And if any of you, if any of you girls try to play smart with me, I will not hesitate to come after you. Am I clear? Yes, yes ma'am. All right. To our new recruits, uh, Bosse and Rookie, you need to change your name. You need a street name. You must not use your real name for the streets. Understand? So, Bosse, from now on, you are Roots. And uh, Rookie, from now on, you're Rose. Yes. Right? Um, Ma, I have a question. The newbie, you have a question? Yes, ma'am. Alright, go ahead and ask your question. Ma, what if we are paid more than the official rate? Are we still expected to split it 50 50 or the 50 comes from the official rate? Here, there is nothing like an official rate. We only have a minimum base. 
and you must not charge anything less than 50k for a service you might they can decide to pay you one million or more but just be a good girl be honest and remember to return our 50 percent is that right yes ma'am your clientele of course is based in here but even if you get anyone outside be a good girl and do not forget to return our percentage is that clear yes ma'am girls at this junction i wish you guys good service good night out do not look for trouble remember your techniques remember what you're being taught remember to always apply it you need it use it because out there is unpredictable unpredictable and men can be something else I wish you good business. I do not forget my 50%. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Madam, you come from. even care what we go through okay you won't believe this but this is what happened to me a few days ago i met this man and he was like oh baby my nipple touch my nipple my nipple it was so annoying the most the most funny thing about this was like he stinks oh like he God. hadn't heard his bed for three days how <laughs> babe i had no option i needed the money so i had to tolerate the worst thinking woman what she's discussing about is a 50%. 50%? It was even a steel gist. My, I went to meet a particular man who just big told me that you can't even say it's joystick. Just looking at me alone, it's already come. And the next thing, it was like, make me a red. Do you understand? I don't know where I want to start. Where I want to start, I'm doing. Where, I don't know. Where will I start from? <laughs> okay, so share. how did you re arrest an un arrested thing? <laughs> Jangle over style now. Did you just play? Men will take breaks. This man, this men are something else. This is where Bosse walks. Wow. Girls Lodge. I've been seeing this place for quite some time now. I don't quite know what goes up in there. Do you know what goes up in there? I love Bosse. And I understand that desperation has pushed her into all this, but I love her. Huh. You can't be serious. Tell me you're definitely not serious. How can you be sympathizing with someone who decided to be a whore? A prostitute! She's my girl! And I love her! Yeah. I will save her. She's an adult, a graduate. No one pushed anyone to do anything. You should be talking about how to save yourself. Ken, this is Bosse we are talking about too. Huh. I've known Bosse for over five years. And in all those five years, I was in love with her. Yeah, apparently she loves you too. And that's why she's here. <sighs> Bro, she was frustrated. She's a human being. Five years without getting a job in this economy, it's enough to drive anyone nuts. I know you tried your best to provide for her and all, but she's just too greedy. No, she's not. She's just she's just trying to be financially independent, that's all. Yeah. And that's the only way she could go about it. You're a very funny man.
Yes, madam. Why is your hand always in your pocket? Oh, my this one. Uh, my for security purposes. I need to make sure that my boy is in check. You know, the kind of guess with the, this building is it provoking. You know? You know, put them in check. You know, Anyways, that's by the way. Yes, ma'am. You see those two girls we just employed new. Oh, boss and rookie. Ah, madam, those girls they find well, they go green markets. Ah. That's not what I'm saying, Simba. Get serious. No, sorry, madam. Now, I need you to put eyes on those two girls. Especially um Bosse, who is now root. That girl seemed like someone who wants to play smart with me. So I need you to spy on her movements. I want to know when she goes out, who she goes with, and when she comes back. Did you hear me? Yes, madam. I promise I will not fuck up. I am the chief security officer of this facility. I will make you proud. All right, you may go now, Simba. Can I go, ma? I just said you may go now. So there is difference between go and leave. Thank you, madam. Au revoir. <sighs> Okay, I am confused. Confused about what? I mean, this whole thing confuses me. We go out with men we don't even know. Sleep with them. Take the risk. And sometimes this man wants to do some queer things with us. You can't be confused because this is what you signed for after all. So I don't understand what you're saying. Um, I know. I know I signed up for this. But it takes a lot of money to take care of oneself after each risky ride with these pleasure seekers. And mm. at the end of the day, you find it very hard to say after settling the descent. Mm -hmm. I actually know a whole lot of girls that have bought cars, built houses, living large and luxurious life from this business. But I'm wondering if this is how they survive this. I wonder that too. I mean, how were they able to save money to? Buy those expensive things. <sighs> Look, I don't see much difference between the money I used to get from Nicaria and the, before I got into this prostitution and the money I I get from this prostitution. But I don't say that, boss. Eh? Of course, you're making a whole lot of money. You are buying new clothes every day. You get good and expensive cosmetics. Look at the way you are looking. Can you compare it to the other time? I know. What do I do? I don't really need those things. What do I need them for? <laughs> Wait. Don't you like the way you are looking now? Sexy or pretty? Beautiful clothes? Uh -uh. Sea gold? I don't understand. What are you saying? <coughs> hey, this day, they wind my knee to Sha. Honestly, I look good outside. Yes, I know. Mm -hmm. But inside, I am rothing. Emotionally, spiritually, even health wise, I am a ghost of my old self. Don't you get it? <laughs> Buste. It's so early to start complaining. At least let's give this thing two years. And if we don't if we don't um, break our financial breakthrough, then we'll call it a quit. You <laughs> watch is too much. Call it a quit and do what with our lives. Get yeah. married, make children, make families, do what other beautiful and pretty girls do. I don't, I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> you think we will find a man to marry us after this? 
<laughs> like after this whole rubbish. Hell. Oh my God. Sometimes you just act so naive. Even though you look smart, sometimes you act like a village girl. What are you saying? <laughs> you see, eh? Sales girls get one of the richest men, kindest men, honest men, and good men, even fine bobo. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of packaging, babe. Huh. <laughs> well, didn't the right time for forehead say person don't uh, total don't plenty prequel. It's just a matter of changing environments and living a good life and a different life. Before you know you become a virgin. Motivational speaker. Who is that? He's not a museum. <laughs> what is it? What are you doing here? I came to see you. What's going on? Follow me, let's contact. No. Someone else is waiting for me. You can go. Maybe we'll talk to another time. I know why you're here seeing me, but. I am the one that sent someone to talk to you. Nobody's waiting for you. <laughs> You mean you're the one that asks him what to come get me? Yes. See, you're going to make me feel and even make a move. You should have come here. Don't worry, I will pay for you. As long as you agree to have some words with me. Well, I should follow you. Let's go somewhere quiet. And some, let's go to a better place, okay? Somewhere quiet? Yes. Vicaria, you know you can't make love to me anymore. I don't deserve you. Please, let's stay here and talk. Oh, let's go and talk in a better place. To leave the girls' lodge. Leave the girls' lodge? To where? To my house. Your house? What do you even mean? Let's get back together. I can't seem to move on without you. You're not serious. You can't. Apparently, you want to get your pound of flesh for all I did to you? No, oh, far from that, Bosa. I, I know it's strange for someone to love you as deeply as I do. But I love you. And I, I know I, I might be naive or whatever, but I don't care. I just want you back. You are not serious. Yeah, am. Across my heart. I want you back in my life. <laughs> Certainly, you do not know what you're saying. Nikaria, I am wilder now than I was when we were dating. 
I understand that I love you so much and I shouldn't have treated you the way I did. Mikaria, you are a good man. And I don't deserve you. I want you exactly the way you are. Come back to me, let's build a family. What do you even mean? I want to be your husband, Bessie. No, this can't be real. No, 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 no. some other time like this. Let's have another one. Come on. Another one. One round. But that was not our agreement. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Listen, you are very sweet. <laughs> and I want more. Come on. <laughs> Listen, you know the second one is always the hardest. So if you want another one, you have to pay more money. I know. I will pay you the same amount. Oga, to just pay my money for the one I did, let me go, please. Uh, if I say I won't pay. <laughs> not try amo. No even try am. If they see me, they know they see you. My I don't I'm not aware. Okay, no even try am. What is your problem, sir? Uh, listen, 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 listen. All I am saying is I am not yet satisfied. So come and give me one more round. And I'll pay you your money. Oga, okay, the one I did is 50k. If you want another round, pay me 120. 120k. Ah, no, no, no. But that's too costly. Come on. Ah, that's too costly. Come on. You want another one? I don't want to pay. You want chop clean out? You don't want to pay. I'm gonna give money for the one I don't do. I beg. Ah. So you want your money? Okay. Um. It's okay. I um, will give you your money. This is too difficult. Too difficult. Eh? Too difficult. Ah! Hey, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes, my eyes. Yeah, 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 my eyes, oh, my eyes. This guy has killed me. Hey. Now, where is the money? Hey, 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 my eyes. Where is the money? Answer me, fine. Stop you now. I was going to pay you, I was going to pay you. Bye, bye, bye. I transfer her. I was going to pay my transfer. I, I told you, I do not accept her ah. on the onset. Hey. Where is the money? Hey. Before ah. I stab you to death, you ah. old fool. Hey. What did you put in my eyes? Hey. Uh. I'll make sure you don't move. Yeah.
<laughs> okay. Okay, I beg. No, 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 I beg, I beg, no, I beg, I beg, stand up, I beg. No, 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 this can't no, I beg, I beg. Okay. No, I don't. Is there an emergency? I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you. It's about time you let this girl out of your life. Don't you think she's a distraction meant to derail your dreams? Ken, I agree that Bossy has been a thorn in my heart. But she's still a friend. And you don't just throw with friendship because the other person hurts you. Yeah, it does. You should. Friendship that brings pain, heartbreak and distraction should end very quickly. I know you will not listen to me, but I will tell you this. Do not go anywhere. Let us sort ourselves out. I guess she's in some real trouble. And it's only right, I believe it's only right that I do whatever I can to help her. You're certainly going to hurt yourself. You're just getting involved in a more promising and sweet relationship and all this comes, and comes, comes along. I'm not going there to resume anything romantic with her. For God's sake, this is a friend I dated for five years. And she's in some serious trouble and she confided in me. I just... But it will be inhuman for me to just abandon her at this point. Mm. Here. Go ahead, take my hand. I wish you good luck. You made you kill someone. Oh, boss. How could you have degenerated so low to the point of having an innocent man's blood on your hand? Oh, your voice. Boss, I you know I'll do anything for you. But I can't shield you from the authorities when you committed murder. Mikaria. I am not asking you to shield me from murder. I thought I owe it to our relationship to let you into what I'm going through right now. It was the most beautiful five years of my life that I shared with you. And I don't even know what to become of me right now. I don't know how long I can, how long I can run before I am caught up. So I thought I should apologize to you for betraying you, for taking the part I took, and for ending it all this way. I am sincerely sorry. 
I was desperate for financial freedom. But when I got in, I knew that was the greatest mistake of my life. You gave me enough to be alright from the little you had. I should have listened to your advice. Probably by now that I've gotten uh, a world signifying job. I am sincerely sorry. What do you want me to do now? I'm a person. I've already made plans. I am okay with we'll leaving the city tonight. You need some money? No, I've got money. <laughs> Lots of money. And I would love you to keep some. You want to give me some money? Yes. $50,000. I want you to keep it. Use it. Build your life. And. You don't owe me anything. Nicaria, if I make it, I will always be your friend. But if I don't, know that I cherished you. Because you will death. You will make it, Bossy. I keep praying for you every day. You will make it. But I think you need all the money you. You have now because you're gonna need it. I, I won't take a time from you. Not because I'm not forgiving you, but because I don't want it to look like you. You're paying me for the love I invested in you. You know, I wasn't really up for all this. I mean, I graduated with a second class upper. I wanted to be a politician. I studied politics. And then, after graduation, I lost my both parents in a fertile car accident and I was left with three siblings. Then I had to take care of them. I had to pay their bills and feed them. And then it was so hard. You know, I applied for hundreds of jobs, submitted thousands, CVs, and uh, I attended interviews and Nothing was forthcoming. And then I, I had this uncle. He was filthy rich. I met him to help me to support. Despite he was my uncle, my blood. He took he took advantage of me over and over again and in exchange for peanuts. But I had no option, I had no choice. I had my siblings, they had to eat and and he was trying. And then he did it over and over again and I felt really dirty and then I met her. She was nice, she was sweet to me, she was supportive. She took me in. But little did I know that I was about to go into a business where I had to sell my body in exchange for money. You know, it's got to a point I didn't know how to cry anymore. I just know how to take everything and every shade the way it comes. <laughs> that was just a piece of my story. 
<laughs> funny. Babe. You know, definitely, everyone has a story to tell. Yeah. For me, I studied banking and finance in school with the hope of getting a job in the bank <sighs> or probably CBN. But here I am, hurrying around with my certificates. The funniest thing is that most of the men that patronize us go out there to say dirty things about us. Call us names. Refer to us as people that are not even meant to be in the society. She's not meant to be. We used to have a life before now. You know. Pastors come here. Even the reverend fathers. And all the holier than thou people in the society. But none are willing to help. Without getting something in return. You know. It's not like... They can't help. They have all it's taken. Definitely, it's a cost them nothing. Exactly. No one is willing to help. The whole country and people are just messed up. <sighs> okay, so it's almost time. I would pick up my bag and then we have to go to the road. Just give me a few minutes and I would be back. You should have handed over to the police. She's a thief and a murderer. She is or, or was, but she's my friend and she was my lover. Besides, there's nobody that's above sinning. Do you know you're guilty before God for covering up a big crime like this? Before the law, certainly, but before God, no, even God understands the power of love over sin. I do not believe you. See, that guy would have killed her or raped her or something worse. Jesus Christ, how can you be talking about rape to a sex worker? Bro, oh, that doesn't make her less of a human. If you, miss, if you must patronize one, at least treat her with dignity and respect the arrangement. You're a very cruel character, do you know that? Oh. I'm only a human with human irritation. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> 